Oh yeah, sexy biscuits. Nice. This is, I think it's pronounced Pooley Rula, but don't hold me to that. It's a 1991 Taito arcade machine that I've only just become aware of. It uses a hand-drawn anime style, but I don't think it's based on an anime. Now, it's got quite the reputation based on the Japanese version and not the censored Western version, but it did get a port to the Saturn, the PlayStation, the uh, FM Towns Marty, and there's a PlayStation 2 compilation of it. Anyway, here you go. In a place called Radish World, or radish land time is controlled by keys each town has a key then this bloke shows up bad man. that's really his name bad man and he looks like strong bad and then all kind of shit hits the fan then you two meet Gandalf or someone like that and he gives you his magic stick that he invented not just a magic stick he looks like King Rolo who remembers him he gives you yeah he uh, he entrusted them sorry with, a, with his invented magic stick in order to defend time now this is running on MAME, so this is the Western version, so I don't even know if the Japanese version is called the same thing. But, um, yeah, there's a there's a boss in the Japanese version, right? Well, think a wall in the background, you've just seen the graphic style, with doors. Uh, three doors. On the left of the screen, your left, a massive uh, right leg of a woman uh, in tights comes out. And then on your right, her left leg in tights comes out. And right where her... Yeah, um, is another door that opens up and fires pink elephants at you. Is it a metaphor? Is it something? I don't know. I just think it's cool, crazy Japanese stuff. So, obviously, that's been cut from the Western version, which is a shame, because that's just all kinds of fucked up and awesome. But it's in the Saturn version. But is it in the PlayStation version? I don't know. There you go, it's called Radishland. And um, yeah, I, I think the Japanese port goes for quite a lot. There you go, in each town under a keeper's control, the time flow was correctly kept with a time key. Right, let's get into it. So it's, it's quite well renowned. And um, I only knew of it very, well, probably, I don't know, a year or so ago. Maybe that when I watched the Sega Lord X video where he's talking about obscure Japanese games on the Saturn you didn't know existed. And then I just saw it completely by accident in Coin Ups 8 on my modded Xbox. And that's enough now. Let's get into it. There you go. What's the time key of this town? Leave, leave me to do it. Be careful. Why does everyone like anime entrust the world and people's lives to kids? Right. There's my magic stick. Jump, punch. Uh, oh, a vulnerability or did I just make it snow? Go! Graphically, it is absolutely lovely. Oh, well, what? I don't know. I don't know what happened. Oh, I think that was just setting it up. Oh, don't hit the dogs. The dog's friends. Look at it. It looks so nice. I mean, you could argue it's just a very sort of standard fighting game, I guess, but when you dress it in this kind of bloody lovely eye candy, it's, yeah. Right. No, there's no one on the screen. Oh, okay. It's a microwave. I'm assuming he kills people for me? It's a microwave with a man inside. If that's not friggin' awesome, oh, down there, thanks, then, yeah. Then I'm not Lawn Boys Post 1975. They stole the key! Oh no! I'll take this key. Can I even fight them? No. I think they're gonna beat me and take the key anyway, aren't they? No, no, I can beat them. Okay, Pinocchio. Oh, he came back to life. So this is set up then. I'm assuming this is set up. I gotta say, yeah, 1991. You know, it's 26 years old or something. I can't be bothered to do the maths in my head. This looks lovely. I mean, think about other games at this point. 
like, like Konami's Simpsons and Turtles. This is far better looking than that. Maybe that's just me. Maybe that was controversial. If you did play this in the arcade or have it on the Saturn or PlayStation, I'm assuming the Saturn version will be much better and amazing because of you know the animation and the memory. But I'd love to know what you think. I didn't know it was a thing, like I said to that Sega Lord X video, and all I can say is I really wanted to play it. It was too expensive, and then I found it. I should probably just type in weird Japanese Saturn games or PlayStation games and their, their you know, or arcade ports and then just look for them on here. What? So I, I, I hit those things that can only be described as a cross between a jellyfish and animal from the Muppets and they release a platypus. By the way, do you know platypus have venom? I only found that out recently. It won't kill you, but it's the most painful thing in the world, apparently. Anyway, that's irrelevant. Yeah, so I released a pig and a platypus. Ice skating, I don't know what they are. Everyone you, it's got a kind of Sonic the Hedgehog thing then. Everyone you twat, you release an animal. So what, is a spell being put on them? Over his top left, I take a lot of damage. What's that in the middle of the top of the screen? Okay, look at me, I'm single-handedly reversing extinction of species. Look at my righteous walk. The enemy design in this is amazing. What was the bloke smoking? And also, well done for smoking it. And also, can I have some? This is insane. What? He's removing his hair, dipping his pea shooter in his own top of his legs or disembodied body and then shooting at me. Points for that. Right, let's see if the bloke in the microwave is going to do anything. Apparently not, I right. Oh, Shizen. Oh, what? Holy cow, that's the stuff of nightmares. I'm going to... Don't... Oh, what? Arrows out of her eyes. Note to self, Dave, don't eat cheese before bed. If you played this game. Oh, I'm off to heaven. Money, money, money. I love shit like this. It's like Parodius, but I'll add the stage and in sort of fighting form and come back on the screen. And your health is wank, so I'm going to kill you, strange lady who shoots arrows out of your eyes that I can kill off the screen. Oh no, it's a person now. Uh, do you go to the town ahead? Yeah, but why? I don't know. I used to shoot arrows out of my eyes, but now I'm all right. This town is. Oh. And people are right. So and thank you. Yeah, let me read. So it's got your map. This is all kinds of crazy. I love shit like this. What the hell? Is that digitized? Oh my god! This is insane. What do I? This town is controlled by the dream of all the bizarre circumstances. Um, do you wake up a person who sleeps in the darkest of places of time? I have recovered. To Let me read it before you leave me to do it. What are you? It reminds me of South Park. This would be the level with the legs, so we're not going to see that because this isn't the Japanese. That's a weird effect. So what they, yeah, see pink elephants? Oh, but we're not going to accept to see it. That bit in um, Dumbo, the pink elephant, scared the shit out of me as a kid. It gave me, no oh my god. This is not a dream time, this is a nightmare time. Bloke in the microwave, do your stuff. No, no, it's a dancing, I don't even know what it is, but. Holy oh, crap. Oh, please don't tell me I'm the only person who's played this. And thank you, Sega Lord X, for letting me know this was a thing. Uh, that's of course, it's not the game you're talking about. <laughs> Through. It's very multi... It's very stuff of nightmares with a pinch of Monty Python there's a bloke's ass. Do your weird thing. That music, now that's like nightmare music, isn't it? What the hell? Death by air. I can attack while he's attacking. This changes everything. Oh my god, it's going to turn into a person. Of course it did. It's turned into Bill Gates. How would I do? Uh, also down there's uh, that doll. Can you stop going?
going so fast? Don't point at me, dude. It's rude. Honest to God, this is insane and I love it. And I'm pretty sure I pronounced it wrong. We're in the desert, of course. My magic stick is awesome. We're also in trouble with no rain. A fellow called Adul. It's like when you think it can't get any more random, it gets random. Uh, but I still got my self-righteous walk. It's a bit kind of... Well, it's, a, it's an arcade machine. It's designed to gobble 10 peas and quarters. Yeah. Oh. Well, it doesn't matter, you know, which way you're twatting, you're going to take damage. This game is just a giant trip. God, this game is college in game form. Not necessarily my college days. The same. Right, do your shit, weird dancing. I've got no weird dancing pink bloke left. Oh, I'm off to heaven. You won't see it in this gameplay, but I am going to go all the way through this. Now give me another fucked up crazy boss. What are they? <gasps> What? Did he even explain how stuff got turned? Or even if they are? Oh! It's a witch. See, it looks like, what's her name? Cotton. Oh my god! Um, yeah, what he said. I'm assuming I didn't have to kill them. Uh, I didn't want to do that, but my whirlwind's not doing anything. Oh no, it is. It, it just wants to warm up a bit. Self-righteous war. What? Oh, there's a little bit yellow submarine in it as well, isn't there? It is. Like I said, some of this stuff is nightmare-inducing. I wonder if it, any of it's like, I don't know, like it's based, on, not based on anime, but like legend or something? Probably not. I'm probably clutching at straws. I want the pink. Oh, it's. What did I do? Just make it rain or snow? Or like, did it do, do the animation even if I got nothing, you know, in my special move tank? Just throw some salt on him. Hey, it's raining. I bring you rain. That makes me your god now, this world. Yippee, it's rain. But I'm afraid too much rain this time. I wonder if it's safe. So he was like a big snail made up out of loads of little snails. This is insane. And quite possibly the greatest thing I've ever played. Yep, so uh, no rain from from here. What, did I flood the world? Right, well, there you go. I'm going to call it quits there. That was a quick gameplay. If you got me, I suggest you give this a whirl just because of the visuals and how insane it is. But yeah, this is Pooley Ruler running on main by Tato. And yeah, this is insane and I love it. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you later. One more thing. No, I haven't got any magic. Oh well, bye.